Hello and welcome to the Criticuculus. I'm the Monk and today I'm here on Wastelands 3. We are doing a quirk guide. What are they and what do they do? We're going to go through every single one and hopefully um, hopefully find some good ones. I know there's definitely some good ones in here, some better than others. And uh, there's some that I just don't like at all. First up is Blunderer. It would be a blunder to take this. Basically, if even if you have a melee character, this gives you a melee buff. But it gives you a chance or 50% chance of not having criticals, which is a big mistake. Uh, Bob Bag is really, really good, actually. I have this uh, on a few characters that I've used. You get 6% or 6 points added to armor. Problem is, movement speed goes down. Circus Freak is another really, really good one. This buffs combat speed and critical resistance. However, evasion and detection time goes down. This could be really good for a melee character, maybe even a small arms character. Someone you need to move uh, into the field for whatever reason. Death Wish. Maybe on a sniper. So you're not allowed to wear any armor, but you get extra action point. And... You get three, so this is actually really good. Problem is, I would not take it. Status effect. Resistance. Doomsday Prepper. This could be a good one, to be fair. The only problem with it is you can't use skill books. And there are skill books for every character in this game or every stat. Lone Wolf. I don't really like this one either, simply because I like running a leader perk. And this one negates all leaders. Medical Marvel, this could be absolutely amazing on melee builds. You're not allowed to be revived in the battle, but you get a massive buff. Mine, another really good one. I really, really like this. This is for a sniper rifle build, really. Detection time goes down. Include this with your sneak, and you got some goodness there. Point Dexter. Again, if you want those extra, if you want those extra skills, this is really what we thought intelligence was. Only it doesn't really level out. You don't seem to get enough skill points for me to make that worthwhile. Prospector is really good. You get extra gold. You can get gold bars, which are worth 2,000. You can get gold nuggets, which are worth 500. It's rare it happens, but it does happen. Increase this with luck, and you could have a lot of cash. Pyromaniac. Pyromaniac is one that it could be used well if you use it with the right things. Maybe a big gunner. Some guy that you're going to have to make sure that has explosives perk as well. You get 15% chance to catch on fire, which isn't great. Uh, this is a very interesting one. You deal a lot more melee damage um, and range damage. The only problem is you take 33% extra damage. So for me, this isn't one to take. Serial Killer is really good, paired in the right hands. Maybe a sniper rifle, maybe a melee build. You gain 3 AP for each kill in combat once per turn. It's not bad. It's really pretty good. Uh, two Pump Chump. Again, if you're an advanced player, this could be really well. Problem is, for me, battles last too long. So this really isn't an option. Again, much more like the last one, this could be a good one too. When a player is down in combat, you earn uh, Berserker Rage. Again, it just lasts too long for this to be of use for me. A uh, Waste Roma is really good, actually. So you get a huge resistance to bleeding, poison, shocked, burning, and frozen. And they are everywhere in the wasteland. This could be really useful. Problem is you gain 15% less experience. You know, long term, this could be really good. Short game, not so much. Way of the Squeezins. This is one that I may do a melee build for. I reckon it could be really good. Uh, it buffs damage while you're drunk you get a debuff when you're not drunk however but i have been the monk and we've been a crystal clueless uh, i hope you enjoyed this video and we'll catch you again soon